This week in Fairy Tale Fridays, an ancient profile lost to the ages, rediscovered now for your curious exploration. The Tablet of Stuff has just recently begun circulating among archaeologists. It has resulted in some people saying it contains a distinct religion not previously known, and it may even be recorded in its entirety. Sometime in the late 1920s or early 1930s, this was a time before they recorded a lot of stuff, Reginald Campbell Thompson led an excavation near the Iraqi River Tigris. The scenes you are seeing were taken of some stuff happening near the excavation. After its discovery, the tablet was set aside for almost 20 years, put away with some other stuff. No one was really sure what it was about. Even now, when archaeologists are questioned, they will say things like, What's all this stuff about? It is perhaps no accident that the tablet has only recently gained recognition. Its significance is found in the simplicity of its tenets, recorded on a tiny clay tablet that dates back to when people first started making stuff. The date isn't precisely known, but it sure was a long time ago. The entire tablet contains only two phrases in ancient Sumerian. Tenet 1, life stuff, mumu, sumsu, alaku, we're born and we die and there's stuff in between. Tenet 2, good and bad stuff, damik, sumsu, limnu, some stuff is good and some stuff is bad and there's stuff in between. Some people think they did other stuff as well. A lot of stuff will never be known, but perhaps if you were to stand on a mountain in the land of these ancient peoples and listen close, you will still hear their chanting from across the ages. 